Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my week 62 update of my fitness journey and my second week of running. I don't wanna like keep track of like the weeks I've started running because I feel like I can barely keep track of my fitness journey. I always have to look and then there's been some videos that I've gotten it wrong. So just know I'm not keeping track of how long I've been running, but I think this week is week two. Before we get into what I did this week, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel I feel like my channel is finally growing again and it's like really cool to see if you do YouTube you know that there's like really really good times and then sometimes you're just like you know staying at the same level but I just want to thank you guys anyone new here thank you for clicking on this video thank you for continuing to support me to those who have been here a while so I guess I'll just tell you what I did this week which I only worked out or ran three times this week which I think is okay um, um, I would like to do four times a week, but it just didn't really work out um, because I was out of town last weekend. So starting off, I did a two mile run and it was on Monday. I burned 193 calories and it was eight minutes. And then you get this like cute little badge. It's adorable. I don't know but that's just what it looks like. And then I also did a 2.12 mile run on a Wednesday morning. And I burned 194 calories. And that was actually the badge that um, I just showed you. I didn't earn a badge on Monday. Today, Friday morning, I did a 1.84 mile run and I burned 173 calories. I love this app, it is called couch to 5k and I talked about it in my last vlog my last little update video but it just looks like this you have the warm-up which is five minutes and then you have like intervals of like walking and running and then also a five minute cool down and this is just really good the lady like talks to you and says now it's time to start running just things like that um, it's really nice so this is gonna lead into my little updates I did in fact end up buying the app and I bought the app. Um, it was like $10, so it's not that much. So I just decided to buy it so I can train up to a 5K. They really only give you like one week free, which is kind of like crazy, but whatever. It's still a really good app. I really wanted to try it out before I actually bought it and I ended up really liking it. So I just bought the app. When I was out running on like where I run, um, two people honked, which is so funny. Um, I run on like a busy street. So like, you know, it's not too sketchy and I'm not like in a secluded area. Cause I feel like, uh, crimes happen when that happens, when people go running in like secluded areas. I don't know. I just watched this like documentary and it was like, Oh, this this guy just like felt the need to like run into a jogger I don't know but stories like that freak me out so I definitely know always run in like a really like high traffic area so like you know creepy things like that don't happen yeah I got honked at twice and I'm like oh yay they're like supporting me or they're doing it in a weird way I don't know but I just thought that was funny and I wanted to include it in this video and then I have been finding it has been so hard to get up so so Monday morning was pretty easy for me to get up, but Wednesday and Friday, oh my gosh. And I've been having like really good dreams. Well, not good, but really like interesting dreams that I don't wanna get up. So it's just been a really, really big struggle for me to get up. I woke up like 10 minutes before because it's been so hard. I have my alarm set to 6.30. So I guess I just build in that time because I'm so tired and it's so hard for me <laughs> to get out of bed. Bed. I just knew I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you are wanting to work out and stuff, you're not alone when it comes to like waking up early. Waking up early is the worst thing ever. And I really wish that you didn't really have to do that. But you know, when the sun is just so hot, you have to do your workouts like when the sun is either just coming up or setting or like when it's just completely dark out. So motivation that I do to get out of bed is just like, you don't want to do this run in the middle of the afternoon and it's going to be like 
blazing hot and you're just gonna find it be, to be miserable you're gonna feel great afterwards because I always do feel really really great after I do my run and stuff like in a better mood and everything like I touched on my other video so I just think that just thinking those thoughts like help me get up in the morning but it is rough um, week three you're running for a longer period of time so in the beginning you're like running for like one minute but I think now they've like stretched out to like one minute and 30 seconds or I don't know it's just a longer duration when you're running and I definitely feel it so it has just been crazy and I've definitely like felt really challenged by that because I normally can't run for like really long periods of time but surprisingly I've been able to run a lot longer um, with the app and everything also I did want to throw in a couple more things so I think it was last Friday but last Friday I ran um, it was super cold out and I found it was so hard to run in that cold cold weather I even had like a long sleeve shirt on when you had to like run and everything that, that was the only time I've ever like had to stop running and like walk and I think it was just because of like the cold wind hitting my face and stuff it was just like super uncomfortable also I wanted to add that my food intake has been horrendous um, number one because like going out of town like you always eat like crap when you're not on your routine and stuff and number two Easter came around so you know I just you know finished my chocolate bunnies recently like I had one chocolate bunny today and that is totally not good for me but at least it went away by me eating it also it's that time of the month so I'm just a hot mess when it comes to like body or whatever but it's fine um at least I like still did the, my running and everything lastly I wanted to throw in here I think I want to start incorporating uh, my workout videos again like after I get back from my runs maybe doing like a 10 minute ab workout or something just to like throw in a little extra something um to just like help tone my body and stuff like a Pamela video either like a butt like grow your booty or like abs um I'm still a little concerned with my arms and stuff um, I don't want to like push it too much but next week I kind of plan on doing that moving on to the photos so yeah I think this week is a lot better than last week's in my opinion but um here is the front view so alex on the left is the beginning of year two of working out and then on the right is current alex and then here is the side view of that um a little bit bloated but it's fine i have been working on like my portions with food um before like I went on my little staycation and before Easter and stuff. So I think we're doing okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.